As ZRA, uh, we are aimed at listening to our taxpayers and our taxpayers being incorporated in the decisions that we make. Amongst them are the improvements on smart invoice, particularly our desktop application that has gone through various iterations. So among them, we have some new features that we've added to enhance compliance of our taxpayers and to ensure that our application provided for free by ZRA is meeting our taxpayers' needs and helping them conduct their business in a compliant manner. So amongst these, uh, the, some of the features found under our environment. So when you go to environment under system settings, we have some features there such as uh, being able to add your company logo on the invoices that you print out. This will help visibility of your companies as you transact on smart invoice by them having a unique uh, logo on, the, on that particular invoice. It also serves as a unique identifier for your company to be differentiated amongst other businesses in a similar business environment. So amongst these, uh, we also have our bank details. So many of our taxpayers had mentioned that they would want their bank details reflected on the invoices that they issue to their clients. It provides a point of clarity for their clients in terms of authenticity of the bank account details that the clients will now use to deposit the funds that they may send to, to, to them in terms of keeping compliant and also tracking their payments. So the bank account can be added under bank there. So it's, you go to system settings and you click on bank and you choose your preferred bank that you wish to transact with for your day-to-day -day business transactions. So in this case, I'll choose Zanaco as a, our bank and uh, the account number I'll indicate as such. Okay. So once we've indicated our account number and uh, the bank that we, our preferred bank account that we intend to use, we can indicate the branch of the bank and where it's found, okay? And the SWIFT code of the bank that we're using, okay? So we we'll use our SWIFT code and our account name. So we'll say this is our business bank account so once we've saved these details it will indicate as you issue out your invoices on smart invoice these bank account details uh, on the smart invoice that is printed out so amongst these um, are one of the many various changes that we've made for smart invoice in addition we also have our currency management where you are able to issue out foreign currency transactions. So um, your foreign currency transactions can be issued out using this platform. All you have to do is go to currency management under environment and indicate which is your preferred uh, currency that you intend to issue out that invoice on. So the currency in this case is um, at the exchange rate of 26.9 that we want then um, we can make it our default currency for the purposes of issuing out the invoice, meaning that all the invoices that will be issued from now on will be issued out in our currency that we intend to do business in. So if it's an export, your client only accepts dollars, you should be able to put the exchange rate there and uh, the currency that you wish to send. So it will indicate that you're about to change the default currency, you can continue, and that default currency will be changed. So these are among the features, uh, the new features that Smart Invoice has. Okay. So in terms of sales invoicing, we also have our commercial invoicing for those in exports and uh, our provision and final invoicing for those particularly in the mining uh, sector. So this is aimed at improving efficiency and uh, ensuring compliance in the various sectors and the various business environments that our taxpayers exist in. So with your cooperation and your, your input as our taxpayers, we should be able to build a better future and a better business environment for the future Zambians as we conduct our day-to-day business operations.